Self-discipline begins with the mastery of your thoughts. If you don't control what you think, you can't control what you do. In this world that's filled with so much noise and information, how do we really stand out and be who we were really meant to be? In this podcast, we focus on injecting you with positivity, optimism, and strategies all centered around helping you be who you were always meant to be in business and life. Be inspired to show up in your own skin to learn strategies, habits, and skills from others as we share our own life journeys and stories. There's no other you, and you know yourself better than anyone else. So be prepared to take away habitual tidbits, tactics that will encourage you to pursue and live your life, not the one others want you to live. Welcome to Stand Out Be You, where you don't have to be perfect, you just have to be you. Hello, this is Tequila Doddard, and welcome to another episode of Stand Out Be You. You know, I'm excited to have you join me today. And today is just you and me as always. And we're going to pick up where we left off from a previous episode where we talked about waking up your dreams. In the last episode, we talked about how to wake up and pursue and go after your dreams, which leads me to today's topic of mindset. Okay, from the previous guest here on the show, we've heard their stories And you've had the opportunity to also listen to the mini life lessons where we focused a lot on you as well as having the right mindset in order to start on the journey of going after what it is that you want in your life. If you haven't had the opportunity to go back and listen to the previous episodes, go ahead and do so. However, right now, my question is, what do you think our guest and most successful entrepreneurs have in common. As always, before we dig in, just as a reminder that if you have any questions for me, or if you have a topic that you would like to have discussed here on the show, you know that I'm ready to do so. So go to tequiladaughter.com and leave me a voice message. And I love stories. If you have a story that you want to share and you're making an impact in your community, let's hear it here on the show. Okay, let's get started. I think we all could agree that the first step in becoming an entrepreneur is to locate a profitable business idea, right? However, I like to think the true foundation of an entrepreneurial success rests within the mind. We've heard this with previous guests here on the show, and I've had the opportunity to work with entrepreneurs where it remains to be true. A good idea can take you, but so far. However, true determination to stop at nothing to achieve your goals can carry you a lot further. It can take you all the way to the finish line. Most times, when we begin thinking, I want to start a business or go after my dream idea, we find out next that it's already out there. It's already been done. Am I right? In fact, when we begin searching Google, we tend to find out there are hundreds, if not thousands, of competitors in the same field, many of them selling the same exact product that you want to sell. Well, I'm here to tell you, that's a great thing. If no one was doing it already, it would be a lot harder for you. Believe me when I say competition is a good thing. Do you worry that everything that you teach or promote has been done before when you're trying to really go after your dreams and test that idea? Do you think for one moment that you do not have anything new to add to the conversation or that everyone has heard it all before? Stop these thoughts right now. You're on the path of killing your dream. This kind of thinking is the number one killer of new businesses and creatives. And it is absolutely not true. Here's why. Think about this. Did you know Wendy's hamburger chain was conceived long after McDonald's already had a huge piece of the hamburger pie or the fast food pie? (laughs) And let's not even dive in 
and began to speak about where Burger King even fits into the mix. Point is, competition should not stop you from moving forward. I will explain why competition is a good thing on a future episode or on tequiladotter.com. So be sure to sign up so that you will receive the alerts when I release that topic. For now, let's stay focused on who is behind these ventures and the mindset they maintain while going up against competition. Just because one business is doing what you want to do doesn't mean that you would not be better. We all have witnessed similar businesses in operation within the same industry. We've seen where one business may be ranking huge in monthly revenue while the other is barely making it off the ground. So again, I ask the question, what separates these two businesses? It's the mindset of the entrepreneurs behind the scenes. The successful business individuals encompass a heightened business mindset that leads to both higher revenue and success. The unsuccessful one may know a thing or two about business, but most times they are okay or just doing the bare minimum. To obtain a chart that I actually put together that displays the differences in the mindsets of successful and unsuccessful entrepreneurs, make sure you go to the show notes and grab that there. Send a reminder to Siri and ask her to remind you to go to my website so that you can go to this particular episode and grab it. So what's this mindset all about? Let's dive into the mindset philosophies of a successful entrepreneur because in doing so, I think that we will happily discover that we can accomplish our dreams and increase our profits as well. So what are the actions? What actions do entrepreneurs with a successful mindset do? They first absolutely know their audience as well as their product. And they reach higher and focus on the upsell. He or she knows how to turn $5 into $20 or $25 into $100 or $100 into $1,000, so forth and so on. They also know their elevator speech. They are prepared to recite it when anyone is listening. And they know the value of marketing and they employ the proven marketing tactics. They stay up to date with what's working inside of the marketing arena and what's not and what will actually send their business booming in full effect. They believe in the ability to achieve the best and they constantly Push themselves beyond the comfort zone for the greater good of the business. They also believe in customer service. They believe that this is the most important part of their promotion in providing quality products. Their customer, most times, if not all the time, is right. And they're problem solvers. They're able to allocate the right funds, it's like a natural talent for them, in the right pockets of their business so that they can run a tight ship in order to keep the revenue going up. They value intuition over any other advice. Now, I'm not saying that they will not listen to the advice of others. He or she just truly understands what's best for their business. They also keep moving things or keep moving when things are slow. He or she always is looking for the next task to be done in order to improve the business. And they thrive. They thrive under pressure. They are attentive and they are ready when anything comes to the alert of this is what needs to happen next in order for this business to not go into the red. They are like an entrepreneur hero within their own business. They also know how to implement the very sound ideas that exists within their business plan in order to increase revenue, customer service, and promotion. And they stand their ground. When he or she is confronted with rotten eggs or something that is less than cool or something that is completely leading towards failure in their business, they notice it immediately and they are able to handle the confrontation or whatever it may be with class. As you can see, a heightened mindset, a willingness to succeed and take risk for business is the foundation for attaining higher profits. 
By following the mindset of successful entrepreneurs, you'll experience the success you've been dreaming about in your business, and you'll be able to take that idea to the next level. With that being said, I know, or maybe this all sounds like a foreign language, and it's the very reason why I decided to put together a kit for you. I remember when I first decided I wanted to start a service-based business and the steps I took to get my very first client to test it out. I located that first client and after that it became easier. Once I tested my idea with the first client, I was able to go on to the next client. So it was like a rinse and repeat method that started to occur within my business. And then I've been able to see other income streams as well. I put together this test your idea kit in order to show you the steps that you can take in order to go out there and test your idea. I like to think that testing your idea gets you that much closer to your dreams coming true. In order to take advantage of this kit, you can go to tequiladoddard.com forward slash test idea. Again, you can go to tequiladoddard.com forward slash test idea. And I look forward to seeing your idea out there in the world. Thank you so much for spending this time with me today on Standout BU Podcast. I appreciate each and every one of you. If you could take the time to share this episode with someone you think would be touched as well, please go ahead and do so. Or if you know of anyone that has a good story that needs to be shared, then go ahead and let them know as well to reach out to me. Also, if you are motivated to do so, please go ahead and leave a great review. I would so appreciate it. And tell us what you think about what you've been hearing. Also, you can leave me a voicemail by going to tequiladaughter.com. It will help us so much with keeping this podcast going and helping to reach more people. Until next time, remember to stand out, be you. And that you don't have to be perfect, you just have to be you.